is uh, Michael Curran, class of 2020. I'm a senior here at Moeller uh, in Zaylor House and some of the stuff I'm involved in. I'm on the basketball team, the golf team. Uh, I'm part of the admissions team and the development team as well as a uh, school vice captain. I uh, attended All Saints grade school right next door to Moeller and um, the main reason why I chose Moeller is uh, I wanted to follow uh, my dad's footsteps and become a man of Moeller just like he was. It was the summer of 2010, uh, July 18th to be exact. We were on a family vacation in Venice, Florida. We go on a annual this annual family vacation every two years, and something new we wanted to try was uh, a, like a like a run, a uh, family outing, and so we were all running a couple miles uh, in the morning, just as a activity to do, I guess. So while we were racing, everything was normal. I, I got to run because I was the oldest in the family. I was lucky enough to run with the run with the big kids, you could say, and. Uh, Everything was fine. I was running with my dad the entire race and I wanted to try to sprint ahead and so I remember running alongside him. He was more in the street and I was on the sidewalk and looking to my right and the last thing he ever said to me was, was keep going. And so, you know, obviously that, that, that didn't mean much then. So just kept running, kept running and I ended up finishing before him. When we got to the finish line, he never crossed. And it was like, just like a sense of, I don't even know how to describe it, just like loss. I felt empty. It was, it was, it was just a really, really strange, eerie feeling. Like I knew something was up. And maybe an hour later, uh, my mom brought myself and my siblings all into a room and told, told us that my dad I uh, had passed away. He dropped uh, right before the, there was a little boardwalk right before the beach. He fell because of a heart attack right on that little boardwalk and uh, passed away. So yeah, that was the uh, hardest day of my life, easily. So tough to hear.